Hey there, it's Linda in Belize. Are you thinking of a potential move to Belize and you're not sure where makes the most sense? Join us for our next Explore Belize trip coming up in March of 2024. So I meet people all the time that ask me why Belize. A lot of people check out Panama, Costa Rica, and Mexico as well. But one big thing about Belize that's different is that English is the official language. In addition, we do have freehold property rights here, which not all countries have. So freehold property basically means you can make sure that all your property is free of liens and that you have the title. Weather is also fantastic. It's close to the equator here, just south of Mexico, so we have great weather. And a big thing is also the proximity to the U.S. and Canada. I can take a direct flight from Calgary or Toronto, and then there's tons of direct flights from many different U.S. cities. The people in Belize are also one of the big advantages. You can talk to everyone. When you're walking down the Placencia sidewalk where I live now, I can say hi to everyone. And I have my little puppy now, and everyone says hi to her, and everyone's starting to know her name. Now, the last thing to mention is the food. I can eat from really expensive, fantastic, great restaurants to really affordable, good food. And I'm going to show some videos of some of the great affordable food options coming up soon to sort of, sort of show you how you could live cheaply in Placencia. So why work with me? Well, first of all, I'm a buyer's agent in Belize with Keller Williams. Why do you want to work with a buyer's agent? Well, a seller's agent represents the seller, which means they're trying to get the highest price for their client. In my case, being a buyer's agent, I'm trying to do the opposite and get my client the best price we can. And so there is often a conflict of interest. And many realtors often want to have both sides of the deal. They want to work for both the seller and the buyer so they make double the commission. Then. And in my case, I don't do that. If I have a listing, I'll get you a different agent to work with on the buyer side. And my focus is always with my clients at, that are buyers. Now, I've also been investing in real estate since 2006. So if you need help with that, running the numbers is my specialty since I'm an accountant. And you can find out not only the great things about Belize, but also the challenges. So if you don't know things like the fact you need a hotel license to start an Airbnb here or how it works, um, the differences for, for having the ability to work, uh, QRP, residency, work permits, all those things, I can help with that. And when I don't know things, I bring in experts that can help you. So you're going to be able to meet other expats on these tours and ask them questions. So depending on the people on the tour, we've had people that have kids come, people that have brought their dogs in, people that are property managers. So you can basically ask questions of the people that you need help from. So where are we going to check out? Well, we're going to explore Ambergris Key, San Pedro. That's our first stop where we're going to stay. There's also an optional stop in Key Cocker while we're there because it's only half an hour away. We're also going to stay in Placencia and take a drive over to Hopkins while we're there. So many people decide to move or invest in Belize and check out only one area and realize they picked the wrong place. I have some examples of that in my recent Mahogany Bay Village video. I had a viewer that actually reached out saying that she finally got the chance to come to Belize and check out both Ambergris Key and Placencia, and she liked um, Placencia way more. Unfortunately, she previously bought a lot in Mahogany Bay Village that she now needs to sell. That costs real estate commission and time. So it's always better to find the place you like best first, if you can. Now, which area might you like better? Well, it depends on what you like. Uh, San Pedro is great if you like diving. It's close to the reef. But it's also a party place that is extremely busy. I really like people and I like the busy vibe of a city. So I don't mind it there, other than the bumpy roads on the golf cart. Uh, Placencia is a lot more laid back. Uh, we have a great expat community, lots of activities, but just not as often. And we don't have near as many traffic jams, and we do have paved roads. The other thing about both Placencia and Hopkins is that it's on the mainland, which means you can drive cars everywhere, and we have great beaches. So in my opinion, Placencia and Hopkins have the best beaches in Belize. Now, there's also an optional stop in Key Cocker, like I mentioned, and there is a really small Caribbean vibe where you can kind of walk everywhere you want. And I really love visiting there. Uh, I wouldn't want to live there personally, mostly because when it rains, those sand roads turn into mud that kind of feels like quicksand at times. So all of the options might be good for you, and you won't know unless you check them out. So some people have already been asking me about the full tour itinerary. So what we do is on day one, we arrive into Belize City and transfer to San Pedro. 
We do that through a little pedal jump or plane, which is 15 minutes. And all of these things are booked for you. Day two, we do an intro to San Pedro and look at North Ambergris Key. Day three, San Pedro, we go down south, which is a really nice expat area as well. And there's an option in the afternoon to check out Key Cocker. On day four, we transfer to Placentia. We take the water taxi over to Belize City, and then we take the beautiful drive on the Hummingbird Highway. Day five, you need a break. So we have some free time in Placentia where you can do optional tours. But so far on all my tours that I've done, people just like to relax. And day six, we're going to check out Placentia and a lot of the areas around there. And then day seven, land development on north on the Placentia Peninsula and a little stop in Hopkins for one of my favorite uh, Italian restaurants. And then day eight, we're going to drive back to Belize City for flight. But if you're staying longer, I can book extra stays uh, with you, you know, with you for different places that you might want to see. And if you want to come early, we can do that as well. So what are the next scheduled tours? Well, we have the upgraded tour that we offer on Wednesday, March 20th to 27th. And we do also offer a basic tour, which is what I was doing in the beginning, where we stay at the Best Western and have a basic hotel in Placentia like Umaya. But right now, those have not been as popular, and those need to be booked in slow season, which is the more affordable time to come to Belize. So if you're interested in that basic tour, reach out to me for more details. But right now, I'm going to talk about the upgraded tour. So in San Pedro, we're going to stay at the Hilton Mahogany Bay Village Resort and Beach Club. And in Placentia, we're going to stay at Roberts Grove, which is a beautiful marina community where we've booked a really nice house right on the canal, which has great views. So what is the cost of the trip? Well, double occupancy, it's $4,200 for two people. If you're looking for different occupancy options, you know, you have a single person or you have three or four in your group, just reach out to me for details. The thing I also like to tell people is pricing can always change. So this is the price now. I already have one couple booked on this tour and a few other people that have reached out. But that's the price currently. So don't wait because prices do change over time. So what is included in the price of $4,200 for two people? Well, your tour organization and presentation. So I'm going to book everything for you. If you send me your flight details in and out of Belize, I'm going to book all your accommodation, all your transfers. We're going to rent a tour van to go through uh, the mainland. We'll book the golf cart rentals. All of those things will be done. Accommodations obviously are included as well. So we have three-night stay in San Pedro, like I said, at the Hilton Mahogany Bay, and a four-night stay in Placencia at the Roberts Grove Home. And then we're going to do the transfers to and from San Pedro. That'll be a flight to San Pedro, the water taxi on the way back. Placencia, we're going to be driving. We take two different routes. One, the really beautiful Hummingbird Highway with lots of nice stops on the way. But on the way back, we take the quicker route, which is the coastal highway. We also go to visit Hopkins, of course. And so everything for that, all those transfers are included. We also have a golf cart rental in San Pedro, which will be shared either with four or six people, depending on the amount of people we have on the trip. What's excluded? Well, your flights in and out of Belize City. We have one international airport that you'll fly into, all your food and drinks, and any optional tours or activities. We also have other options such as additional nights before or after, or if you want to fly rather than taking the water taxi, or if you don't want to do the drive to Placencia, there are flight options as well that you can book with me directly. So how can you confirm your interest? Well, I have a registration form for you to sign. And once you do that, 50% down will be required to confirm your spot so we can book the hotel. The other 50% is required 30 days before your tour. And for payments, I'm pretty flexible because I have US banking, and I have Canadian banking. So if you're American, you can pay me through Zelle or through a wire. Or if you're from Canada, you can do an e-transfer. We only take a maximum of eight people on the trip. And my last one that we just did was full in November. So again, reach out as soon as you can. So there's some other notes I want to make sure you're aware of. So once you confirm that there is availability on the tour, make sure you have your flight confirmed before making any payment for the tour because your spot is non-refundable because hotels in Belize do not give refunds typically. Flight prices to Belize often change very quickly, so I really don't want you to wait to book and find that your flight is way more expensive than you thought. 
So once you have your contract signed and payment made, your spot and the pricing is confirmed. And again, if you want to come earlier than the tour or stay longer, just make sure you reach out to me to see if those options are available. And note that the current pricing is as of today, so prices can increase based on what the hotels are charging closer to the tours. You can find my contact information in the description and I hope to see you soon in Belize.